This video classroom topic will introduce the bundles and promotion feature of Universal Command. The bundles and promotion feature is designed to facilitate migrating workload automation definitions between Universal Controller instances. This allows customers to develop, modify, and test changes in a non-production environment and migrate them to their production environment in a fully secure and audited manner, manner with full backout capabilities as needed. If you have multiple controller instances such as production, quality assurance and unit test, you may need to move your workload automation definitions between these environments. This is what the bundles and promotion feature is for. Your workload automation definitions can be moved from prod to test, where changes and new schedules can be developed and tested. Then, when your changes are complete, you can move them to QA for integrated testing. And finally, when you are ready, they can be promoted back into production. In order to promote your workload automation definitions between environments, you will need to select the required definitions. You can select one or more workload automation definitions of the same type, or create a bundle of different workload automation definitions based on manual selection, following references for related definitions, definitions modified since a specific day or time, their business service membership, or you can use the RESTful API functions to build your own bundles. Promotion of your worker automation definitions can be immediate, manually invoked, or scheduled within the controller or externally via the RESTful APIs. Scheduled promotions can promote a snapshot of the definitions if required. Using the bundle and promotion feature ensures the integrity of your worker automation definitions as they are moved between your universal controller instances by honoring your security rules, providing a full audit trail, maintaining each definition's versioning, and allowing changes to be backed out if necessary. Further information can be found in the following video classroom topics and in the Universal Controller documentation.